heard of Dubai. That's where the world's tallest building is. So guys, today here, I'm, like I told you before on the other video, I'm gonna show you, uh, give you some tips and show you how to dress in a cassette. Um, we had a question from my boys back in Kentucky, Bluegrass State, uh, wanting some tips on a little, uh, on making a neater a cassette. So here we are today, and we're going to do that. So I have a few examples of cassettes here. We'll show you for those of you that may not know what a fiber cassette is. So we have this first one here. Just open new cassette. This is what you're going to get if you purchase this. It's a Corning cassette. It's uh, pretty popular right now. It's great. It comes with uh, heat shrinks and tie wraps already for dressing and cable management. And I've got a few examples here of this was done by Joe. This is Average Joe's cassette. We have here, you know, this is what your standard should see in your standard cassette if you were to get inside of one. Uh, so we've got standard Joe's here. Looks pretty good. And then we got Mr. Jim Frederick cassette. Now, in this case, most of the time you want to be like Jim. Jim's a good guy, stand-up guy. But in this case, we don't want to be like Jim. So as you can see, it's a mess. And we're going to have high DB loss. And this is a no-go when we're talking about fiber. So today, we do not want to be like Jim. All right, so anyway, we're gonna set the camera down here. Hopefully we get a good shot and we can see everything. And we're gonna get started on uh, putting together a little fiber. Splicing it, fusing it, burning it. So first things first, we gotta get in here on the setup. Typically, uh, when we're setting these up around back, you know, they say this uh, actual protection here, this Kevlar outer sheath, you really only need to use it on uh, ribbon fiber. But I like to put it on there just as an extra protection. I mean, it doesn't hurt, it gives you extra protection when you're sliding these cassettes in and out. So, uh, yeah, I prefer to use it. And as you can see, we come around here, you know, we've got it all laced in here, tie wrap, and so on and so forth. So, first things first, we've got 12 strands here. What I like to do, there's a few ways to do this. Now we can do the perfectionist way or we can do the speed way so we're going to start out the perfectionist way and we'll move on into the speed so we'll get our slack dressed inside of here like so these are going to lay in here. So, we know you can do blue on the bottom, blue, orange, green, brown, slate, and so forth, or start at the top, blue, orange, green, brown, slate. Depending on which way you have this, you will have blue or on the top or bottom. So since I'm looking at it this way, I'm going to put with my blue strand, first strand, on the top here and work my way down. So the longest the longest strain is going to be at the bottom, so I'm going to cut these all down here at the bottom. Right there's my mark. We've got trusty snips. And I like to cut, if we cut them back here, then we're going to have this much better pocket. When we strip that, we're going to cleave it in the middle. So that puts us, our splice right directly in the middle here. So that's the what we need to think about 
as we're going for the future dressing once we're done splicing. So snippy snippy. Now, if we want these to be perfectly laced inside of this cassette, we really need to measure each one of these out. Because if I leave all of these this long and we splice the other side in here, the ones up here are going to be too long and we're going to have this micro bit, which we don't want. So, since we know this is going to be slate at the bottom and blue at the top. Speedway, if we want to do this, and just not really, and be like average Joe, we would just come in here and cut these up here. Because we know that still with our slack laced inside of this tray, it's still going to be long enough to come down here, but then we've got this, doesn't look as nice as it could as if it was pushed back up in, inside. So, those are the few ways we can do it. Now, if we want to be perfect, we would pull out old first strain here, which is blue, and we would push it up, get it far back in there, and then we would cut. So really, realistically, from slate to blue, this is the difference in slate. But it does make a difference if you want to want the perfectionist trick. And then we go into orange, which is going to be up there. Boom. Green. Push it up. I'm not going to do the whole tray perfectionist, so I'm going to also do the quick game on the rest of these, which is here in the middle. Bam! So then we're going to pull these out. And you need to do the same for the other side. Yay! Fiber splicing is a tedious job. And these videos most likely will be boring for those of you who do not care about splicing. So I'm going to cut these in the middle. I'm going to do the speed thing away. That way not wasting a lot of time. Again, as I said, you could measure each individual one out through here and just cut, or you could remember the distance on the end of the fiber and just trim a little off on starting with orange, blue, orange, green, brown slate, and so forth as you work your way down. But I'm going to go in the middle so I have a pretty close length of meat top and bottom. And I usually put these in order. 
do it all. It's going to bore the sh out of everybody. So we're going to do the first five or six, and then from that point on, you can just rewind the video and watch it again and go for it. Hoorah! What I'm talking about. So we've got everything measured now, and I hope everybody can see. Everybody's good. See what's going on here. Move the camera a little bit because you don't want to see my little face. Hopefully, you got this cassette all inside. So, another thing I usually do is just strip all these, get it out of the way. Get them all nice and pretty clean here. We need bare glass. Also, while we're doing this, you need to have your safety glasses on. I have invisible safety glasses, so in case you're wondering why I don't have mine on, I actually do, you just can't see them. And of course I broke one. That will happen and you will have some uneven fiber. It's just part of the game. some of the work stuff and tips on this channel and I'm going to have some of the Rebels Adventures. So you will see some Adventures, Seychelles, China, UAE, Dubai. You know, we're going to do a little exploring on this channel. In case anybody cares to watch, share, and we will make fun of you. Especially the
sure we go through the fusion splicer and I will do some videos on maintenance of these, changing out electrodes and stuff at a later date. But today we're concentrating on dressing in a cable tray. So I've got everything single mode auto, 60 millimeter sleeves, splice sleeves here, everything set up. So hopefully we got a good cleave. We're gonna get in here and hit set. Watch this baby burn. So, 